Hello Sirius fans and welcome to Comedy Fuse Gamecast. My name is Alma KG and today I'm joined by General Mistake on a matchup on laggers between Complexity and uh, Pyro Beta, also known as the Hamburglar on Gambling Plays the Door. General Mistake, it's your stage. Hi, I'm General Mistake and uh, I'm doing my first appearance here as a co-caster. I do the stereotypical, stereotypical, stereotypical German guy here and uh, give you some impression of the PE. I'm watching Complexity and uh, be prepared. I'm pronouncing the stuff um, how it's pronounced in German mostly. <laughs> yeah, you give me a lesson in German pronunciation with your reply in a previous podcast thread I had made. And that was well received, I guess, although my knowledge in German is rather... Rather not so decent at all. So we are paused at the five second mark and we will be unpausing in three, two, one, go. Six, seven, eight. There we are synced up. Yeah. Ah, complexity, of course. Uh, uh, I mean, the German player, Pyro Beta, that is the Smurf account. Opens with a rather usual barracks first, not any fancy for ES opening, followed by snipers or anything like that. So we must probably will be seeing the first rifle coming out of the barracks pretty soon. And as a German player, I go for the fuel first. Let's see. Looks like both fuel points. No ammo yet. Yeah, well, uh, I if I would uh, if I played as the P player, I would prioritize fuel because you know that gives you <laughs> the ability to go for fast uh, vehicles. On the other hand, when playing as the American player here as the Pyro Beta guy, I'm pretty certain that he is going to be uh, rifle stalling if he feels underplayed in the field, or otherwise, if he feels confident enough, he will be most probably getting some upgrades for his. Uh, Rifleman, most probably bars first, since that would give him even an increased rate of veterancy gain. I'm already building my first building, the logistic company, instead of um, more grenadiers. And it seems to be enough because I'm chasing off your engineers on the left hand side. Yeah, well, engineers were trying to cap the high munition point to the west up portion of the map, but uh, they really stand no chance against, of course, a P-Grand squad upgraded with a G43, and so they had to retreat, and most probably this will follow up with a change of focus by the American player, since uh, that will make him focus more on the east portion of the map. You said the P player built his uh, logistic company first. That's kind of a weird thing to do. <laughs> it will be interesting to see how he follows uh, follows that up. Yeah, and his um, scout cars, uh, my, my scout car, I'm drunk here. Yeah. Uh, my scout cars already ninety um, percent built, and uh, next thing will be four man squads. So I'm ut utilizing the PGs very early on. Right. I mean, uh, scout cars can hold the ground if they are backed up by some pigrens against the riflemen, but I'm not sure, sure how they will pay off in the end. As for the American player, he already has his uh, second rifleman squad up, along with his two first engineers, and uh, he is getting, of course, his third rifleman squad that will be hitting the field in a couple of seconds. A move by him towards the position seems to be working out for him at least for now some focus fire going on and uh, P player what would you do <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting behind my uh, Kupstar sandbag um, haystack and pushing out every rifle guy who's trying to get into cover too bad uh, I don't have any scout car upgrade yet because I could uh, use some suppression against this masses of weapon. That's actually a uh, good point, because uh, if he had the upgrade, he could lock down on his sector, right? 
and use the and use the MG to. It has increased suppression when it's locked down. Right? A lot of suppression. It's like uh, one thousand four hundred percent more suppression or something. It doesn't do much killing, but the suppression is pretty good. Well, yeah, because you know the pigrens will do the killing after that. Yeah. So it's more like a suppression tool, sort of. If they don't use it to kill stuff. Like on the right side, they kill your engineers. Go home, engineers. Well, uh, for these first minutes of the game, we are currently at the 4 minute 35, 36, 37, 38 second mark. For these uh, first minutes of the game, the American retreats uh, seem kind of solid. He has not lost, uh, lost any units yet, sector. any full squad, but he has taken some losses. But he, however, replenished all, all his riflemen, four riflemen on the field, by the way, right now. No indication of a rifleman upgrade coming, although he does not even have the manpower yet for bars. And what's the situation over at the PE base? Three PEs, one scouter, one sadly idle cabin cut. Not connecting the left hand side. You've disconnected half my territory. And basically halving my fuel and ammo income. And now I'm sitting in this house because it's nice and here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. As you said before, the uh, P player focused on uh, the uh, logistic company upgrades. He got his car out, he got his increased squads out, uh, and squid squad sizes out, so he will be utilizing that P uh, grants uh, much more than you would otherwise with four, uh, three members. And this uh, scalker seems to be paying off for the moment being. However, he needs to be a little bit more careful. Rifleman uh, and the American player just uses the bulk of the, his rifleman to move and push the piglins out of cover. This seems to be working, but he still has to remember the uh, manpower cost of all these losses that he takes on his rifleman squad. And the taking indication for the American player is not any rifleman upgrades, he just got his uh, supply yard done, so he most probably is going to be investing in some tier 3 motor pool action with some uh, M8s or AT guns. Yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm guessing too. Uh, let's see if there are going uh, AT mates or even um, T4 yet. I don't really have the, the fuel for T4. And the scout car didn't do much damage yet, but it, uh, it tanked, sort of uh, tanked for all the grants. Which uh, is actually quite good. Now a massive force of big grants moves against uh, a couple of riflemen and some uh, flame engineers. Flame engineers get focused found quickly, focused fired quickly, so they have to retreat. A mine being laid there by the engineers, but there are big grants. actually. Right hand side. That's right, yeah. They're <laughs> no cap, yeah, no casualties. Mine's going to hurt me. I'm just going back home and telling everybody how awesome I am. <laughs> uh, I did notice all the big grants coming out with full health, so there must be the defensive operation upgrade up for the e base, right? Yeah, indeed it is. How, how do you feel about getting the defensive operations upgrade rather early in the P? Um, something I do every game, actually. Unless I do really need the, the um, Panzer Shrek early on or something. Oh, by the way, there's uh, Tier 3 going up now. So I'm guessing Martyrs, since there are no bars. Hmm. Although you could argue that Martyrs are kind of weak, unless they are paired up with a second Martyr. It's yeah, kind of cool. Uh, I got no AT um, yet, and it uh, looks like you're getting an M8 since. So, uh, Mada is pretty much your only choice now. Yep, exactly. That is the situation the American base. The uh, no rifle upgrade, of course, indicates some other form of taking, and that taking is a fast M8 by the American player at the 8 minute 26, 27 second mark. While, well, of course, his riflemen are still on the field trying to inflict as much damage as possible. However, that engagement in the northeast of the map most probably is going to turn in favor of you, pesky German. <laughs> <laughs> Run home to mommy. You cannot defeat my truck. You see the suppression pretty nice from the car. Still not many kills, but the suppression is possible. And there we go, the M8. 
Yep, the Amate has hit the field. That will effectively mean the retreat by most of the big of the bigger and sports. Uh, and of course, the retreat of the scout car, uh, going back to base to get repaired, most probably. I'm not so sure about uh, the big one staying around the M8 uh, for that long, unless there's a puncher strike the coming. Is that the case? No, no puncher strike. Nothing yet. I think tank destroyer, tank hunter uh, is the choice now. No. Oh, telemines. Yeah. Telemines being led in the middle. So the tactics uh, have already been chosen for the P player and as you said there were tank destroyers. By the way, for the American player we have no indication of a company, no armor, no airborne, no infantry yet, so I guess the American player waits it out a bit, seeing uh, how the game is going to be turning out. Uh, and you said there were mines, right? Teller mines. Yeah, I'm going to start building Wellington here and had to cancel because I guess you right but now, again, telemines in the middle, on the road, where they belong. Actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but telemines can actually even uh, kill an M8, even, uh, even if it has the upgrade of these skirts, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, they're quite devastating, right. aren't it's they? It's the only vehicle on the field, and this road will be traveled. Uh, by the way, an AT gun has complemented the American arsenal of 80 weaponry on the field, and that is come, most probably going to spell doom for any more of uh, the B vehicles. However, the American infantry is mostly in bad shape, uh, mostly because um, the American player has not invested in a tri center yet. I didn't build anything of my Panzer Jäger command. But the Panther Support Command is up and an AT half track is hitting a bit right now. So, mates, watch out. So, that's an interesting tech switch, I would say. Did, did the B player actually get anything out of the Panzer Jager Command? No, so far it's only a waste of resources. Anyway, so yeah, that uh, light AT half track, of course, will be able to uh, use the thread breaker ability. Yeah, but he has no nothing to kill it. Only mobilize. And the AT will um, kill the M8, uh, the, the uh, half track faster than half track can kill the M8. Especially since it's have. Seems so. All those riflemen have now moved in. The upgrade of the bars kicks in just uh, as they were closing in on the distance between them and the Grands. So the light AT half track and the remaining Grenadiers, uh, big Grenadiers and the Panzer Grenadiers have to, of course, to retreat under the face of that overwhelming American infantry force. And not to forget that there's also an AT gun, AT gun in the back, so that light AT half track cannot be that um, offensive as it would like. By the way, I have to point out the American player holds a large portion of the map and that is always kind of a problem for the PE, isn't it? We have aerial recon capability. Getting the uh, Thunder Support Command upgrade. Maybe we have a deep force soon. This would help with the M8, with the with the rifleman and can even circle the uh, AT gun. Uh, yeah, but while all this was happening, the light AT half track went down to the fire of the AT gun. However, the big grands are still trying to push. Rifleman, however, in green cover, will be standing there ground for a while. Uh, big grands retreating, I guess, back into the defensive operation, healing, in order not to lose much of the manpower there for the B player. Uh, the situation now seems a bit uh, actually in the uh, in favor of the American player. He even got his tri center up. He has not lost um, any squad yet. Uh, he starts getting veterancy on some of his riflemen. He has an AT gun on the field, an M8 on the field with veterans level one. What would you do from now on as a P player counter of that? Yeah, good question. The P4 
Occupants of four would be a good choice, but I'm seeing a Hotchkiss being built. And I'm um, pretty interested how this will turn out, since uh, from my experience, the Hotchkiss is pretty much useless. But um, switching to the left side, all my PGs swarming the field. I'm not afraid of any strafing runs, why should I? <laughs> Just clump together. That's always a problem with P and the devastating strafing runs. And by the way, the American player has gone for an airborne company, so... However, uh, you know, the B player has no indication of an airborne company yet, unless the, he has seen a scout plane being used, but I think it didn't, so yeah. Nothing yet. He does not, he does not really know that the American player has gone for an airborne company. Oh, now I know. Now the strafe comes. <laughs> No squad losses, but uh, a lot of members sector. going down. Yeah, it's you to buff my units life a bit. So you said you feel kind of um, wow. The M8 hits the teller mine. And the M8 gets destroyed, and some riflemen go down with that as well. <laughs> to go back to your previous comment, however, you feel that the uh, Hotchkiss is kind of useless. And that is kind of an opinion shared by a lot of P players. So why would you somebody use that? Does any of the upgrades actually, is that good for it to be used? With Afghan, it can stand ground against an MA, but I think um, T4 with Afghan against Tier 3 uh, is not really, not really a good... Uh, Trade-off and the Stuka upgrade, okay, provides some sort of artillery and uh, pretty much the only uh, artillery, doc doctrine-free artillery the PE has, not counting the mortar. The enemy is down to 300 points. All right. In the meantime, some riflemen got pushed off by the high munition point in the west portion of the map, and our American player replenished the loss of his M8 with another M8 that uh, promptly upgrades with both the armor scales as well as the gunner and in the wow the second M8 hits another teller mine <laughs> so <laughs> this M8 investment is not paying off at all for our American player him he even loses a rifle squad by the stone house in the west portion of the map so losses in the these last minutes of the game which by the way we are the 16 minute 36 37 38 minute uh, second mark uh, seem to be increasing in numbers, so I'm not so sure if that is going to be turning out good for the American player. That seems to have changed getting M8s in favor of getting more AT guns, which is kind of safe, but I would say kind of weak against big runs. isn't that so? Yeah, the AT is... Maybe expecting an armored car since... Uh, seen any, any, yeah, we have seen the... Uh, Rivals in the field. Another strafing run by yeah. the victory point, mm -hmm. but it didn't cause that much of a. Of course, but I'm immune to strafing runs or anything. Germany, Kupstein. <laughs> But, uh, you know, uh, strafing runs are uh, kind of popular against the people because of the fact that uh, piglins need to be staying together in order to gain veterancy faster, isn't that right? Yeah, and also it's the only kind of infantry the PD has. You just have vehicles and um, squads equipped with some weapons. So there are always um, some groups you can strafe while um, the, the Wehrmacht has MGs maybe into a building, inside a building. Or, I don't know, some more units are more spread out and um, more diverse. An engagement taking place near the center of the map. Uh, some MP44 equipped big rents against the bar equipped the rifle with veterans level 1 and some flame engineers resulted in the former having to retreat. Uh, rifle is still around. I'm not so sure if they have they upgraded, uh, have been upgraded with sticky bombs. I haven't seen any being used. So, but that Hotchkiss has to be careful in any case. I've seen uh, Hotchkiss time not even killing infantry. Four shots and only misses. Yeah, the Hotchkiss rate of fire is kind 